Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the next optional bug fix C release update to the release preview channel Insiders, where they will now finalize that optional update before it gets pushed out to the general public. And our next optional update for Windows 10 22H2 is KB5053643. And when the update rolls out, and if you do decide to install it, when it comes to stable in a couple of days, um, the OS build will be bumped up to 19045.5674. Now, because it is in its final stages of testing, um, I would suggest that we would get the update rolling out to the general public starting Tuesday, the 25th of March, because the update rolled out late yesterday in my region to the release preview channel Insiders on the 13th. So I would suggest 25th, in a couple of days' time, it'll make its way to the general public. Now, with the upcoming end of support um, for Windows 10, um, I've seen in the last couple of optional updates that Microsoft um, is not pushing out front-facing features. They're really just working on minor improvements and mainly bug fixes. So with this next update for Windows 10 22H2, there's just a couple of improvements and fixes. So I'm just going to mention them all for the purpose of this video. Now, the first is that the update provides no to, I hope I've pronounced that right, spelled N-O-T-O, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean fonts in Windows. Now, in case you don't know what a no to font is, um, it's a collection of high-quality fonts with multiple weights and widths in sans, serif, mono, and other styles, um, according to Microsoft. So if you are in those regions, that may be something to look out for. And then they've updated the country and operator settings asset profiles um, with this update. And there's a fix for thumbnails, which I think is quite an important fix. So if we pop over to our file explorer... Apparently, um, Microsoft says that thumbnails in File Explorer may crash, resulting in white pages appearing instead of the actual thumbnail. And I think that's a small yet significant fix um, because obviously that's bringing a bit more stability. And I always say on the channel, any crash that's addressed with any browser or OS is an important fix in my personal opinion. So there's a fix for those thumbnails crashing. And then we get... Temporary files have received a bit of a security enhancement where this update enables system processes to store temporary files in a secure directory, which Microsoft says reduces the risk of unauthorized access. So I think that's a nice little under the hood security tweak and adjustment for Windows 10 22H2. And there's a fix for remote desktop where apparently certain get help troubleshooters might not run in a remote desktop session. And then the update introduces improved support in Windows Search for the European Economic Area, EEA, including increased discoverability. And then the final one, just to mention for this video, there is a fix for printers, where printers using independent hardware vendor drivers RHV for short, might unexpectedly output incorrect or unwanted text. So guys, that's it. As I said, no front-facing features, really just tweaks and adjustments taking place under the hood. And that's more or less what to expect in our next optional update that will be rolling out over the next coming days for Windows 10 22H2. And just on a quick side note, as I always mention with these um, preview updates that are being finalized, although they are very close to stable release, um, obviously things can change, one or two tweaks and adjustments can change um, when Microsoft does push it out to the general public. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.